What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenvo. And man, you guys, you see, I'm in scrub still because when I can get this guy on a Facebook Live, I just took advantage of it. So we have Sean Ryan. He's the main man behind Profi Magic, Metadenta, and Wider Image. Sean, what's up, man? Ah, hey, Nifty Thrifty. Love oh, you, man. So, 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 look, man, you're like one of the busiest guys in the industry. And I've been wanting to get you on uh, a Facebook Live because. Man, you've been hooking up our group with some awesome deals. And finally, you're like, Glenn, I got some time. I was like, I didn't even have a chance to change my out of my scrubs. I wanted to jump on. But but here's the big thing, man. I wanted to bring you on because I wanted everyone to, to get to know you. You've been like one of the, I would say, one of the OGs of, of Nifty Thrifty Dennis. I mean, you were in the beginning. You kind of jumped in there and, and took a leap of faith with us and started hooking us with deals. And, and I get people all the time saying, When's the next Profi Magic deal? They're always talking about that. When's the next handpiece deal? Yeah. So you know what? Before I jump into what are all the companies that that you're involved with, before I jump into that, let's just talk. Let's just throw out a deal first, and then we'll go there. The big deal that I that you just told me just now is this handpiece buyback. Tell us about it. So Medidenta has been known for. They've been in business for seventy five years, right? 76, going on 76. They were known for endodontics, right? Endodontists knew Medidenta like nobody else. They knew it like Henry Schein, like everybody knows Patterson and Henry Schein. Bottom line, they've been around forever and they were known for endo, right? But all the while they all had hand pieces. So if you remember, I don't know, maybe your wife would actually, the MM1500, it was the first kind of sonic hand piece for endo, right? The gyromatic, we're going back old school, right? But those were the popular products that really put them on the map. They always had endo files. They had a private label deal with Micromega, where they were the only distributor of all Micromega files. So if you use the Micromega files, you bought them from Medidenta for years and years and years. We have always had hand pieces. We've always done service, right? We've always done repairs on any make and model. You've got your $1,800 cable, we'll fix it. We'll fix it for a fraction of the cost that anybody else has, right? So for us to compete, I, I see it all the time on Nifty. It's like, hey, who does repairs in Dallas? Who does repairs in Houston? Who does repairs in Jersey? It's like, we do repairs. We're out of Las Vegas. You get a free UPS label. We ship it. We, we tell you what it's all about. And look, our program is not, I'm going to tell you that it's broken beyond fix and I'm going to sell you something. That's not who we are. We'll fix it. We'll fix it for a fraction of the cost of the competition. We do have, when they are broken beyond recognition, we do have options that we can replace. So I started thinking about it. I thought, what can I do with Nifty to kind of let the Nifty Nation know that not only do we do repairs, but we can fix anything. It's not just ours. Yeah. Probably 80% of our handpiece repairs are our own products, right? Over the years, people send them in 20 years old. I mean, we've been around forever. <laughs> but we'll get a cable. We'll get an NSK. We'll get this. We'll get that. We can get the parts. We can make it work, just like any other, you know, mass repair, haze, or anybody else that does it, right? So I started thinking, what can I do differently? And I started looking around. Everybody's doing 20% off lifetime, 30% off this first repair, uh, swap out programs, refurbish, da, da 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 I don't want to get into refurbish. But what I did decide was that I would take any handpiece that you send in. And we joked a little bit the other day about <laughs> some because of Because you said like, any handpiece. Any in quotes, right? Any handpiece, right? So we'll take any handpiece, every doc, you tell me, and, and maybe I'm assumptive here, but every doc has a drawer full of broken down handpieces. Yeah. We'll send I got them some have financial value. Some are like, someday I'm going to actually get this thing into the repair shop to have it fixed. Bottom line, though, everybody has a drawer full of them. So I said, why don't we do something where if they send in a piece of crap, it could be cracked in half. I don't care. <laughs> send it to me. It could be the biggest piece of junk. Now, I will say this. If it is the, those throwaway disposable, whatever those things are that bend out the side and whatever else, if they are those, I'll take them. I don't care. What? Because I'll take them. I don't care. Oh, and man, that, you, that's a bold you, talk for saying that in Nifty Thrifty. Well, here's the thing. People buy those hand pieces because they're so cheap, and they can buy dozens of them. And, and look, there's a certain portion of your audience that will continue to buy them, sure. and that's why. There's enough room for all of us to get fat, right? In the end, for me, it's like there's certain docs that buy them because they think they're okay, and then they're like, ugh, I wish I could just buy in a high speed. It doesn't have to be a high end. It doesn't have to be a 1000 bucks. Just something to get me through a cavity extraction or do some simple filing. It's just yeah, something yeah. simple. So they defer to those and halfway through a cavity extraction or halfway through filing down to this, that, or the other, it shuts down or it freezes up. And then it's, then it's disposable. Problem is it's disposable during your procedure. So I said, look, I'll even take that crap. I don't care. 
and we're going to throw them in the garbage can. We're going to throw them in the garbage can, and we're going to give you 50% off any handpiece equivalent, or if we don't have one that's that low grade, you're going to get a better handpiece, bottom line. You pay $200 for a handpiece with us, two and a quarter, whatever it is. If you send us even those pieces of junk, um, we will give it to you for half off. Now, so the joke came up in the office. They said, well, Sean, what, what if they send in 50 hand pieces? I said, if they need 50 replacement hand pieces, we will provide them 50 replacement hand pieces, equal or less, you know, greater value for 50% off. So now you say, I like the $10 hand piece, but I hate the fact that it craps out halfway through a routine, right? I buy 10 of them for $100. Now I'm getting you close to $100 for a hand piece in the last few years. The only thing you may have to replace is the turbo. Most of our essential line, I'll call them, uh, you know, not cut and bone kind of products, yeah, but yeah. things that can do simple procedures. You're going to be in that $200 range. Your, your turbines traditionally are chair side. So you're going to be replacing them yourself. You send them to us, we charge you the same, and we'll oil it and clean it up for you if you have, if you have the ability to have downtime. But the turbines are $75 to $125 across the board. You get into our 2400s and our tw some of the higher torque ones, and they go up a little bit. Some of the surgicals are a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. We've got air-free hand pieces that are taking off in ortho like you wouldn't believe. Like, we go to the ortho show, and we're like rock stars. Like, it's <laughs> the closest we could be to Bon Jovi or whomever. <laughs> and a dental show, that's pretty impressive. Air-free, high speeds. Who's got it? Medidenta has them. They rear vent. We're the only ones with yeah, them. That's important when you're doing surgery. Ah, so you know, I'll we, have, we have our air free surgical line. We have our air free high speed. How many high speeds don't have air? So for those orthos out there that are doing debonding and they're using a high speed, what's worse than having air pour onto a raw tooth after the after the glue's been plucked, right? right? Air, water. So you turn off the water, but you still got the air, right? So we created an environment where you could have that full capability and you, it depends out the rear. So you have a high speed handpiece that's essentially air free. And for ortho, it makes complete sense. For the yeah. rest, it doesn't really matter because you're using those other utilities anyway. I so love it, man. I love it. it in, if you send me 100 of them, Glenn, I will replace 100 of your hands. <laughs> so, so look, let's let's talk about that because, look, this is going to be a little different because we're going to announce a bunch of different deals. So I'm yeah. going to put this deal here, and, and people are jumping on. They're probably looking, hey, is he about to end the Facebook Live? Sean and, and Sean and Glenn just got on. They're only on for five minutes. He's and they get ready. No, man, we're gonna do something different because Sean is all about deals. So the first deal is this, okay? You got a handpiece that's broken, mail it in to Metadenta. Free. Free, okay, free. And then no they you have the rebate off. We'll do a label. You send it to us. We know it's in the rebate program. We contact you and say, here are your options. 50% okay. off this line would be apples to apples for us. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's the first nifty deal. But you know what? We're not done yet because we were just talking off air and man, you dropped some serious bombs there. And I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. So I'll let you be as political as you can. So here's I something. Have to dance a little, but I'm, I'm a good dancer. <laughs> so Sean, okay, so Metadenta has all these different hand pieces. Profi Magic has all these hand pieces. Wider Image has got all this cool whitening uh, material, right? But let's talk about the hand pieces because you were talking about something that was really interesting, okay? Yeah. So the hand pieces that you guys get, you guys have to get it from a manufacturer, right? But what's unique is you guys aren't the only people getting those same hand pieces from that manufacturer. Let's talk about that. So when you look at when you look at overhead, you think of you go to a trade show and you see a, a, a big dealer, we'll say, maybe a Henry Schein. You'll see they've got 50 or 60 reps standing around in nice suits and they've got a booth that's you know, 30 by 7,000, you know, in length and size. Yeah. And they've got overhead banners and they, they host parties and they do all these wonderful things. <laughs> That's overhead, right? And now they make a little bit of money off you guys on a lot of products. But in the end, the reality for me is that they have to get their hand pieces somewhere. They're not a manufacturer. In some cases, we're a manufacturer, right? So we can, yeah. we can talk about that later. But in most cases, we're a distributor just like they are, right? We're just a direct seller. A couple things happen. You go to a Medidenta booth at a trade show. If you're out in Florida right now, stop by the trade show floor, talk to Alfred, and he'll take care of you. Um, you'll see he has a 10 by 10 booth, and we'll rake in money left and right. Those that get it, they understand it. The yeah. reality is this. We have the exact same hand pieces that you'll see in the dealer groups. You'll see at the big dogs. You'll see at some other major, major players that are direct sellers like we are, right? Somebody has to get them somewhere. There's only a few good hand paste manufacturers, frankly, here in the States, I can name one 
yeah. for hygiene. And <laughs> we, we actually use, we actually have that product as does another prominent director. And, and you know what? I'm not going to bring that up. Sean told me, but my jaw just about dropped on the floor when he said that where they get their profi hand piece, this other company does. And it's the same exact one. The only difference is it's like, three times as much as what you guys charge. Sometimes sometimes it's twice as much. They make it a little prettier than we do. We're of the mindset that docs are looking for a deal. Everybody's worried about their overhead, right? Yeah. So when we look at our overhead and we keep it lean, we're a direct selling company. We don't have a big ego. We don't take out full page ads and billboards at trade shows. You won't see us in the back of a taxi cab promoting booth 414 <laughs> You'll see us at the show with killer deals. So we cut some of those corners on our end and, and look, our egos get kind of played too. Could we afford a bigger booth? Of course. Could we have bigger glitz and glam? Of course. But what would happen? That would trickle down to you, right? Yeah. Trickle down economics. It's, it was prevalent back in the 80s and it's prevalent today. In yeah. the end, for me, we have the same hand pieces that they have. In some cases, some manufacturers obviously have their own and we don't participate in those. But if you're buying other than the NSKs and, but even that, even that. So they're made somewhere, right? There's a stamp put on them. And what I'm telling you is that in some cases, it's either a Medidenta stamp or a Henry Schein stamp or a Patterson stamp or a Benko stamp or a whomever, or even an NSK stamp. Frankly, they come from the same place. Yeah, yeah. So guys, you know, I see a bunch of people watching on now. They're jumping on right now. And, and guys, if you have a question for Sean, so Sean's super knowledgeable when it comes to manufacturing all these different hand pieces and whatnot i mean he's he opened my eyes when we were talking before he jumped on if you have any questions jump on but here sean i want to ask you the biggest question here yeah. we get this all the time i'm sure you you answer it all the time I, I what you ought to do is you ought to just have something on a word document where you just cut and paste the same uh answer because they ask all the time they're like okay well i got this profi magic hand piece Yep. And uh, it died on me after a few months, you know. So let's just let's just talk about that because that comes up all the time. And, and, and with anything, you got to take care of it. Here's the thing: these hand pieces require oil, right? And everybody says, "Oh, we oil, oh, we serve." I'm telling you a quick story. The guy in the East Coast calls me up, and he I, I become friends with the guy. Basically, says, "Sean, we bought these hand pieces, and they're freezing up." And I said, "Okay, Doc, send them in. We're buddies. Send them in. I'll take a look at them. They're under warranty. It's no no worries." We normally will talk you off the bridge, right? Because it'll save you downtime. And it's so stupid, easy to fix. Here's what happens. Hand pieces show up. And if it's stuck or if it's slow, I give it a spray of oil. I hook it up to my rheostat. I put a phone book literally on the rheostat. And I walk away. I go eat a sandwich. And I come back five minutes later. It's humming like a bird, right? So in this particular case, I send it back to the guy. And I say, hey, I got them up and running. You know, you just need the oil. And I, you really got a service. With the autoclaving, it's killing hand pieces. It's not just hygiene hand pieces. But here's the reality. You use a Quattro, a Stina, even an RTT. Mm -hmm. It gives the hygiene hand piece the same amount of oil that it gives a high speed or a surgical, right? Because it's a machine. It doesn't distinguish. It doesn't know the difference. A four hole is a four hole to it, right? You have a small little vein that goes up to a small little turbine motor. And that amount of oil is perfect for that. Well, my high speeds never go through this. My surgicals never go through this. I've been using this for 30 years. Okay. Now you have a big fat barrel that's as fat as my fingers. In the end, it's got a paddle boat inside of it, and there's four veins. Drip oil, drip, drip, throw it to the side, you're in a busy practice, throw it in the autoclave, it never gets purged, right? So the oil never circulates. Uh, aerosol oil, even, zzz, you hear zzz. it doesn't necessarily get all the way through, including the nose cone, right? Everybody has to autoclave. When you send this handpiece, this big barrel, it's like a paddle boat in with inadequate oil, those veins dry out. Mm -hmm. ultimately they freeze up you use drip oil it sits in the corner and it doesn't bake like a cake but it creates a sludge and it slows them down if you're not purging them properly if you're not oiling them properly, if you're not serving so anyway doc comes back so sean six months later same problem i swear they're oiling i took your advice i told them we got to do this and i said okay send them in again and i will take a look at them um i took it apart it was bone dry so i called him back and i said doc i'm staring at a bone dry hand piece this thing hasn't seen oil since i put it in so I know, and he, we got into a debate, almost an argument. I said, Doc, I'm not trying to argue with you, man. I'm just telling you, these hand pieces are bone dry. No, 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 they're doing it. No. I said, they're not doing it. I'm not trying to be a tattletale, but in the end, you're sweating me. So I have to, I have to come back with the yeah. reality. Is that they just require more oil. And look, you can pay 500 bucks for a Midwest that doesn't require as much oil as ours, or you can pay 250 or even get them free in our bulk deals. 
you know, people, people look at it all the time and they, they weigh it out and they say, okay, it's 250. But the reality is they're not disposable. They're not throwaways. You give them oil, you purge them. If they ever slow down, call me, private message me. I will walk you through the process. If well, I'm you, know, you know what it would be really helpful? And, and guys, if, if, you, if you like what you're, you're hearing, just type in the comments, Profi Magic. We'll just do Profi Magic. That's easy because I'll say Metadenta. People are like, how do you spell that? Profi Magic. Type in the comments section, Profi Magic. Look, I mean, I think what would be really good is, Sean, if you could just record a video of how you just oil up the handpiece. Why do you say that? Just, just, just shoot a video and then put it in Nifty Thrifty. And then when someone says, hey, my, my Profi Magic handpiece or something's going on, I'll just kind of tag that video into there as a response. You should do that because yeah, I guess apparently some people don't know how to oil their handpieces. Well, it's not only like that. I, I just think they know how to oil their handpieces. They're not morons, but, but the autoclaving is killing the handpiece. There's 13 or 14 states where it's mandatory that you autoclave between every single patient. And that while you would do that naturally with a high speed or a surgical, you never really had to do that with a hygiene, but now you do. And these big barrel veins, which they all have, some are compacted differently. Some of the bearings are done differently. The lube freeze clearly don't require that kind of scenario because the bearings are actually encapsulated into a private little area that never get touched. But these particular types of hand pieces with this barrel process where they have the fins that spin around like a uh, steamboat, they require more oil. And that's the bottom line. And they got to be purged. Yeah. Every time, not, Glenn, I'm not BSing. I'm not a BSer. But in the end, 99% of the time that we get a hand piece in our office, all I do is give it a shot of oil. If it's really stuck and frozen up, I'll stick a straight nose cone and grab a burr, a football burr, and I'll hit the reset and I'll turn it. And as soon as it breaks free, I literally will put it in the holster, put a phone book on the reset, and walk away. Go have a sandwich, come back, and it's humming. Every <laughs> I, I can tell you, honestly, one out of a thousand are actually broken, if that. And I can say that with all certainty. If your handpiece is frozen after six months, no, if it's 10 years old or 20 years old and you've been abusing it for all those years, um, maybe well, then it's, time, it's, then it's time to tra do the trade in program if it's after 10 years. You should just go ahead and trade it in and get your 50% off a handpiece from Metadena. Without, without a doubt. And Metadena has the lube free version of it, right? It's made in Japan. Killer, killer handpiece. Same handpiece manufacturer that makes our low speed kits. So if you like our 25K or if you liked our 40K in the past, you'll love these handpieces. If you don't, you know, the problem with it is it's a one piece. So some people like taking off that E-type e attachment, yeah, yeah. throwing on a, you know, a contra angle or throwing on something else, uh, straight nose cone. But, but if you just need it for hygiene only and that's it, those are perfect. The loop free, solid, solid manufacturing. I Same manufacturer in this, in this relationship for years and years and years. We're talking decades. So Okay, so we got uh, – so, Sean, we got some questions here. Let's put this All first right, one in here. Okay. Okay, so if they have an Estestina or a Lubrina, still the is that the best option for the staff? So something that is kind of like automatic for the lube. Uh, we use them religiously and still do some oiling on top of the hand hygiene hand pieces. So they have a like a Lubrina, a Sestina yeah. that they use yeah. to uh, with the staff. But would you say to add oil on top of that as well? No, as needed. Use that thing every day. Save yourself the mess. In the in the frustration and the time, use your Astina, use your TT, use your Quattro. It doesn't matter. Use it all day long. These hand pieces could essentially go without oil for probably three or four months without even being oiled. We create a silicone barrier on the fins, and that helps kind of stay lubricated. But no, if you have a machine, use it. If you notice that the hand piece is losing some torque, you notice that the RPM slowed out a little bit. Set it aside at the end of the day. Take an aerosol can, any cable oil, any hand piece oil. Obviously, we sell that stuff too, but in the end, any clean oil. You can even use WD-40. It stinks to all heaven, but, but in the end, you can use a good quality oil. So use your, use your Estestina, use, use your Quattro, use your TT. Use all those as a day-to-day. -day. It'll save you a ton of time, and they'll operate for years. If you ever notice them slowing down, don't call me. Well, I guess you can. You can private message me. You can call me. Just give it a shot of oil and run it. Purge it for two minutes. And you'll be fast and running. Then use your machine for the next six months until it does it again, if it does it again. Again, that's good advice. Little going up to a little motor in a high speed, it's the same oil as that big barrel. And it doesn't matter what handpiece you have, the Midwest, the Ultra Dense, ours, um, you know, there's millions of them. But even some knockoffs, even some things that, that maybe, I always tell people, even a lube, hand, a lube-free handpiece, if it's dogging, give it a shot of oil. Hmm. Well, okay. 
All right, so let's talk about this this next thing because uh, a lot of people always ask qu this this question, and I kind of already know how because we already talked about it, and I know you already. But they always say, okay, these bulk free uh, these bulk deals, these bulk deals with Profi Magic, they're killer. They're killer deals. Okay, I get all these Profi angles, and I get all these free hand pieces with it. How can you guys do it? It's such a ridiculous deal. Are you selling pieces of crap? Is that why? <laughs> You know, people always ask me that, and I'm like, no, I know how they do it because, well, I'll let you explain. Well, so Profi Magic started nine years ago, and it was a spinoff of another uh, company um, that did something kind of similar. Um, they sold, that company sold. So Brian, the owner of Profi Magic, decided to take his intel that he had from his past and bring it over to Profi Magic. And this guy was going to trade shows. He was a trade show warrior, right? created a killer product, same relationship with the same manufacturer for decades, right? So we know the quality is good. We know it's there. All he had to do was find his little niche. He had to get it in your hands. So what he did that I thought was brilliant, and I was with him nine years ago, not in practice, but in theory, right? Uh, side by side, we'll say. Um, he decided that whoever wants free samples, I will send them to them. Now, this guy back nine years ago, had no inkling of Facebook, had no inkling of email marketing, had no inkling of online, anything, didn't care. His theory was, if I send it to you and you try it, you're going to love it. And then if you see the prices, I have to be ultra competitive. I have to create a goofy name like Profi Magic. We have the Disney fonts. We have, it's not Disney for the record. Uh, <laughs> if you change it 20%, you beat the trademark. But in the end, um, we had to come up with something outrageous. We just came out with a new Profi angle. Well, I can't talk about that, but we have a new one. It's got a mo the most ridiculous name I've ever heard in my life, but it's awesome. And I mentioned okay, it. Well, you can tell me off air. I guess you haven't released it yet, right? We, haven't released it yet. we did come out with our Profi Cone, which replaces nose cones. You can attach it to a star motor, a Midwest motor, and directly to a um, either the Ultradent motor, our motor, or any other E-type. I say that carefully because you would want to put a Profi angle on a low speed that goes 25,000 because there's no reduction on it. But if you don't have to autoclave your motors between every patient, buy these Profi cones. You won't have to do your nose cones anymore. And it's the whole thing is disposable. There is another brand out there that did it. We're the only other one like it. Mm -hmm. So um, we have solutions basically, basically for everything. But the reality is we're not pigs. And I've said this to docs before. He's like, how in the world can you afford to do this? And I said, we're not pigs. Yeah. In, the, in the end, we know you're going to like our product. We know you're going to come back for more. If you buy a handpiece deal, Glenn, and you get four free hand pieces, and you get enough profi angles to last you six months. When you come back, you're still going to have those same four hand pieces. We're hedging our bets that you're going to buy more profi angles alone. Now we start making a little bit of money. That's what's interesting about our bulk deals. And you are always hammering me. Give me a bulk deal. deal. Yeah, bulk deal. I love those bulk deals. I like I can provide them to you all day long, but they're so lean as they are that I can't discount. Them. All I can try to do is be a good drug dealer. I call it. I know it's tacky, but. <laughs> I'll give you products that you may not know we carry. I'll give you free bonuses on our ginger cane. I'll give you our CR rated air and water tips. I'll give you our CR rated, you know, this, that, or the other. We have 30 SKUs. Some of those are blocks of things. 10 burrs, most popular burrs, right? Take those away. 20 products. I honestly can tell you that CR has reviewed our stuff and seven, maybe even 10 out of our 20 unique products have been vetted through their system. Now, keep in mind, nine of those are brand new. We just released them. Yeah. So we only carry quality products. We're a very, very lean direct selling. You won't see us having double page spreads every month in dentistry today. While I would love to have that exposure, we don't need it. We go, we go grill them. You guys market. are nifty thrifty, man. That's why I love nifty you guys, thrifty, man. Baby. Now we love nifty. And, and, and look, everybody's looking for a good deal to drop their overhead. Everybody has to go to their dealer to buy certain things. But there are certain things that they don't necessarily have to to satisfy their discount group or whatever the heck. Yeah, we, got, we, got, we got something here I'm going to put up here. This is going to be pretty funny here. All right. So this doc says, come on, drug dealer. What is the best deal right now? Well, guys, if you want to know the next. So I already announced for those who just jumped on, you guys missed the first deal. I changed it up. I uh, Sean's going to drop some deals today. We already yeah. announced the first deal. And that is the handpiece buyback. I'll bring that back up at the end. But you know what? If you want more deals, type in the comments section Profi Magic, okay? And he's gonna he's gonna hook it up. Okay, so 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 let's uh so so we know about the bulk deals. That's super popular. Uh, I mean, uh, 
such, such a sweet deal, man. Like, let's say, let's say you buy something, you get a bunch of handpiece, uh, profi handpieces, right, guys? Well, you know what? They have surgical handpieces. You can buy that bulk deal. But let's go to the other company that you represent too. It's Metadena. Okay, so Metadena is like a, I mean, they got like every single handpiece you can think of, like on that site there. But let, yeah. let's talk about this. So let's talk about the lines of hand pieces that you have there. And because sure. everyone's going to say, well, uh, okay, Metadena, I mean, I just see some posts in Nifty Thrifty, but like, I don't know too much about that. What does it compare to? What am I comparing it to? So let's talk about that with the hand pieces that you have. Let me give you the specific model numbers to the competitors, but here's what I can tell you. Medidenta has something for everybody from the essential lines for folks that are using a high speed or even a surgical, but don't use it a lot. They don't want to spend $1,000, $2,000 on a, on a hand piece because they don't use it that often, right? A lot of cleaning going on, right? A lot of whitening going on, a lot of other things going on. But you need a hand piece. You got to have a surgical. Almost everybody has to have a surgical in the drawer because when it does come up, you're kind of screwed without it, right? Yeah. So maybe that they came up with essential lines, middle of the road lines, and high end lines, right? We have the cable quick disconnects on a couple of our models. We have traditionally four hole, you know, four, four pin for um, the essential lines. However, we do offer them in optics so you can get a five pin. Um, We've got the middle of the road, which are high power, high quality, very, very comparable to. You guys can ramble off codes and kinds that you have, and I'm not that much of a nerd, but I will say this. If you want to private message me, here's what I have that I want to replace. Show me a link to what's comparable to ours and give me the best deal. I will hook you up all day long. So air-free, we have these air-free high-speed hand pieces. They're the only air-free high-speed hand pieces in the industry, right? There may be some knockoffs here and there, but the only, the only air-free. I was telling Glenn earlier, we go to an ortho show, and we're like rock stars, right? <laughs> they can be bond with a low speed. They can be bond with a high speed now. Now we take the air out of the equation. Your services can be used. Your services can be turned off. But the bottom line is there's no air hitting that, that you know, raw tooth that's going to wince and cause problems. Same torque, same power, designed very, very specifically to be for debonding primarily. Um, air, air free surgicals, kind of a no brainer. At least they all should be, right? Um, but we make it to where you can actually afford a surgical and not run the issues of air embolisms and, and, and using a high speed because you don't want to buy a $2,000 surgical. Contact me, one at Provi, I'll give you a free one. Essential line. If you're cranking it and you're cutting bone all day, I wouldn't recommend that. So that's the beauty of us. We're not going to stuff anything down your throat. I'd rather talk to you and say, what are you using it for? Well, I, I, once a year, every so often, I got to do something. Okay, don't buy our high-end surgical. Yeah. And don't buy their high-end surgical because it's twice as much as our high-end, right? Yeah. On this essential line, it's going to last you forever. $125 turbine replacement, tear side, do it yourself. Send it to me. I'll do it for the same price. Um, that's the kind of way we roll. We're not trying to stuff anything down anyone's throat. We have solutions that you may be surprised, and I'm sure a lot of people that took advantage of that 2400 series that we did, the turbo torques. It's a huge head, it's aggressive, it's all that stuff, but if you need that kind of thing, I did a buy one, get three free. And just so Nifty knows, you couldn't get a buy one, get three free, even at a trade show. That was specifically for Nifty, and I held that really close to my heart. And I said, we're not gonna deviate. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> that was probably my worst weekend, because I think you posted it on like a Friday night, and I swear, I was chatting with people all of Friday, all of Saturday, and all of Sunday into Monday. But well, guys, I mean, look, I mean, Sean, Sean, he get, he gets lonely, guys. So, 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 if you want another deal like that, so you can harass him all weekend, type in the comment section, Profi Magic, okay, Profi Magic. So let me go to this next thing because I know what everyone's thinking right now. And and look, I I, I have some of your hand pieces, so I know the quality and whatnot. But Dennis. The, they always kind of overthink things, right? They're thinking like, this deal is so good. Let me just overthink it. Let me th overthink it so much that I'm just going to go and buy something triple the price because I'm just going to do it, okay? Let's talk about warranties. Someone buys a handpiece from you guys. What kind of warranty are they looking at? A couple things, and that's a great question. So the higher end ones, you get a two year. You replace that turbine, we're going to add another year to it, right? So if you send it to us and we replace the turbine for you, basically for the same cost if you were to do it yourself, we extend it. In some cases, another six months when it's a one-year warranty on the essential lines, but the higher-end hand pieces, you get a two-year. You replace that turbine, you get another year tacked onto it. Here's the beauty of it, though. We're all human beings, right? We actually do repairs in-house. Our repair shop is cranking out repairs left and right. I was back there today, lubing up some hand pieces to then package to get out, right? This is the stuff that I do. So 
back there cranking out warranties. You call me and you're one day over your warranty, right? Which is everybody's sarcastic fear or sarcastic. Oh, yeah. Fear. We'll take care of you. Look, and our repairs are not designed to upsell you something different. Our repairs, it's the same company. We all make money off of it, no doubt. However, we're not pigs across the board. If, yeah. if I'm going to leave anybody with anything, just remember that I'm not a pig. And the companies that I represent and the companies that I work these deals for and I, I manage and I put out, we're not pigs. And not that everybody else is, because there are a lot of good companies in this industry that do a really good thing. My opinion is there's 130,000 dentists in the U.S., right? Amongst that, there's 170,000 employees, right? So for me, I don't know that I can sell 170,000 hygiene hand pieces. So if I can sell seven, eight, nine, ten thousand a year, pretty happy. Um, that means there's a ton of room for Shine. There's a ton of room for Benko. There's a ton of room for people that can't deviate. But those that want to actually get a product that is in, in most cases, identical to some of the others yeah. at a fraction of the cost. I'm the guy. Hey, you, know what's so great? you know what's so great about this, guys, is that he's the guy, but he's also in our group. So yeah. there's so many times someone said, hey, this is going on with my hand piece. And Sean's right there. He's like, hey, are you lubing it? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? So that's right. the difference here because I, I told Sean a story about this, and, and we had a good laugh about it. But one of the big three – they are the, and I told the story a lot. Chris Hoppower, if you're watching, Chris, if you're watching right now, you're going to laugh because we're going to tell the story. But, you know, I, I was telling Sean that I was meeting the head of the special markets of this particular company. She deals with all the DSOs and all the, you know, group buying and everything. And we were talking about deals and she straight up started yelling at me and said, who do you think you are? You know, and she's like, you know, can you guarantee that your members are going to buy X amount of product. And I said, you know what? Here's the thing. I bring the deals to the group. Everyone has their own free mind, free will. They buy whatever they want. I can't guarantee anything. And she was like, she screamed at me and Chris and said, who do you guys think you are? That's it. And then click hung up on us, you know? So I'm, I'm really appreciative of guys like Sean here because you know what? I mean, they're a smaller company, but they understand where we're coming from. He's easily accessible. You can message him, you know, you can tag him in the Facebook post and whatnot. And that's a big difference. You know, a lot of the hand pieces, I'm not going to. How many people in Nifty Thrifty are Fortune 100 or 500 companies? How many docs? How many offices in Nifty Thrifty are Fortune 500 companies? How many are publicly traded? And their stock goes like a roller coaster, but irregardless of that, that was a, that was a blow. Um, how many of you are big or even medium or even small? Remember, small is 100 employees, right? How many of you are small businesses? Every single one of you, right? How many of you are publicly traded? Very few, if any. How many of you have more than 100 employees? Probably none of you, right? You individually, you may have a robust, I mean, when I hear I have nine hygienists, I'm like, yes, I hit the <laughs> jackpot. This is a great group. Small business is, I think it's 50 plus people, between 50 and 100 people. Medium businesses are thousands. Large businesses, big businesses, Thousands and thousands and thousands of employees. None of us are even small business owners, right? The way the politicians describe it and the way that the taxes describe it. All of us are living as if we're just a mom and pop little hot dog stand trying to earn a buck. We're no different. Some of the folks that you guys deal with are in that Fortune 500. They yeah. are publicly traded. They have thousands of employees that they got to feed. We have great employees. We have a great business model. But we're more like you than any other company in this industry in that we're a small business. You know, we know what you're going through. We know what it's like to have the lights flicker. Well, we don't necessarily know that. You probably don't either, Glenn. But we know what it's like to be struggling and trying to make that buck go an extra mile. And so our mentality is if we can service the small businesses, which is essentially all dentists that are owner operators. Yeah. Um, if we can service them. Now, keep in mind, I have a group for Pro Magic that owns, gosh, I don't even know how many, uh, we're not a big DSO group, right? We can't get in, we can't penetrate, we don't even try. Um, but we do have a group, pediatric primarily. There's hundreds of them and they love us to death. We're like rock stars when we go to a trade show. We go to AAPD and we're like the rock stars. We go to Ortho and Medident is the rock stars. We go to a beauty show or a dental show in a vanity driven type market like California CDA crushed it. Florida's killing it right now for wider image dental. So you go into a vanity market, our 
our formulas, our sales, our deals are very similar across all platforms. So, 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 so Sean, I'm going to put you on the spot here, but you know, before yeah. we go there, we have a, a, a little post from, uh, from the audience and uh, he's saying, I'm about to open a startup with six ops um, wow. and uh, in two to three weeks, Profi Magic. So look, man, yeah. it's time to do a deal once he put that out there. So let's do that. Ops. So let's see. Let's so let's 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 I want a deal. Let's let's do a deal. You know, that deal that you did where they were blowing you up all weekend. We need another deal like that, Sean, because one of those bad boys. You know, we need to send you off through the fourth yeah. of July holiday right, you know, with your mm -hmm. phone just going off the hook. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Birthday's on the third of July, in case you're gonna send it. <laughs> um we gotta we gotta do a birthday deal. I love we'll do a birthday deal. July third through the through the tenth or something. Here's what I do for startups. So startups need a handful of things. They don't just need hygiene hand pieces. They don't just need broken handles, right? They need air and water tips. They need a surgical, maybe. Maybe they need a couple high speeds. Um, maybe they need some burrs at a discounted rate, really, really sick rate, right? So when I talk to a startup, and it's usually someone who either just broke away from a group and they're doing their own thing, or they were with a partnership and the partnership went awry, or they went sideways, or it's someone right out of college with a crap ton of debt, right? Mm -hmm. And the last thing they want to do is go buy a $600 hygiene hand piece times four times yeah. six ops, right? They're saying three to four hand pieces per operatory, depending on your market, right? So doc, wherever you're from, it'll be dictated by what, if you follow the CDC recommendation or, or not. Um, we do deals where we'll bulk together these, we have these CDC bundles, we call them. It's again, a little jab, but um, 10 hand pieces, you're 220 a piece, right? And I give you free trophy handles. Now those are published, they're online. What I do for docs that are starting out and I'll do for anybody in Nifty is, in lieu of a hygiene hand piece, I already will give you a surgical and I will already give you 1600 air and water tips. So if you needed eight hand pieces, I could give you a surgical, eight hand pieces and uh, 1600 air and water tips. What I also do though, the audible that I can pull and I eat a little bit of, of lunch here, but I'll do two high speeds, they're essential lines, no optics, no swivel, don't talk to me about cable, quick disconnects, but I'll do two essential line high speeds um, in lieu of one IG hampies. So when you see those deals online, those bulk deals, we can call audibles all day long. And it can include burrs at $79 carbide burrs, buck 35 diamond burrs, any size, any shape. We can we can put together packages that'll blow so you, you away. Customize things so based on oh what they need. God. Look, we're not trying to stuff anything down your throat. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Our reality is we want to get you into our system, right? Using our stuff. We want yeah. Uh, to be able to provide you with everything that we possibly can. Now, again, like I said before, I can't do rubber gloves that smell like oranges. I can't do bibs. I don't have, you know, these seat covers for your seats, although I can get them. Um, but what I do have, I want to get in your system. And here's what's going to happen. You know, diamonds are interesting. So you can pay buck fifty from what I've seen all the way up to 11 bucks a diamond burr. Why don't you lock in with me for $1.35? They were CR rated a decade ago. Actually, even more. But top quality diamonds. They're out of Israel. Nothing, not hiding anything. Fantastic manufacturer. Low distribution over the last few years. We took it on, got the exclusive. Now we have these incredible deals on burrs. They go at two bucks retail, but for Nifty, I put them out at buck thirty-five. So the, the moral of the story is, for someone starting out, call me and let's talk through it. Let's figure out what I have, and what I can package together. Every time you package something to me, I get. I get taken because I'm like, okay, yeah, but you really need burrs. Okay, how about if I do this? How about if I throw you 300 burrs and get you started with the top three sizes? Or you know what? I'll give you two surgical, or I'll give you two high speeds instead of a hygiene. I get it. You need, you're going to have to have high speeds. That's the sale that happens in my group. That's when you call Medidenta, you get someone who gives a crap. You give someone at Profi Magic who gives a crap. Yeah, wider image dental. This guy gives too much crap. So, so let me ask you this: Can you bring back that super hand piece deal? Which one is that? Which one do we do? Oh, the one, the one where you you didn't get any sleep all weekend, <laughs> all day long. So that particular deal, it's our twenty four hundred turbo torques. You buy one, you get three free. Uh, a lot of people wanted it on our our lesser model, uh, the twenty two hundred, which is just a smaller head, a slightly smaller head. I couldn't do the buy one get three, but I'll do a buy one get two. So you pay eight hundred dollars, you're getting three. Top quality again. If you send me the model number, I'll tell you if it's even close to ours. Um, ours could be better than that one that you just paid eighteen hundred bucks for. 
Man, so, I love that. I love that. All right, let's 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 recap all those deals because okay, so I want to go over the first deal for those who who just jumped on. The first deal is this really cool buyback deal, right? Now, first of all, for those of you who don't know, actually their company they actually do handpiece repairs, yeah. right? So that's another thing. You need places on your handpiece that do handpiece repairs. But let's say, for example, you have ours, you have who matters, we'll fix it. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. Let's say you have a, a handpiece that's just broken. It's it, it, there's, it's irreparable, right? Well, here's the deal. Here's the first nifty deal, okay? You send that broken handpiece to them, and they will give you 50% off a brand new handpiece. Yeah. Oh, and, and another thing. Shipping's yeah. free, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I actually created a page where uh, you select rebate program. It flags us on that order. It sends you a UPS label. Um, from there, um, you send in that handpiece. Could be, you ever see those commercials like, tow it, push it, pull it, we take anything, like that car dealer thing. I don't yeah. necessarily sound like that. However, I did want to differentiate myself from everybody else. Everybody else is doing 20% off one handpiece, right? Uh, buyback program on one hand piece. You send me a hundred hand pieces, I will give you fifty percent off of a hundred replacements. You send me one piece of garbage that I can't even match, I will give you, I will give you my low end, which is still better than that piece of crap. I will give you fifty percent off of that. So now instead of a ten dollar throwaway that seizes up halfway through a procedure, I'll give you a hundred and fifty dollar, hundred and twenty five dollar hand piece that'll last you years to come. The only thing oh, you, have- you can't beat that deal, guys. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm gonna. <laughs> When I get back to my office next week, I'm going to go through, I'm going to get all those hand pieces that I was just going to get and throw against the wall. And I'm going to mail them to Sean and get hooked up with some hand pieces. Okay. So that's, that's nifty deal. Number one, nifty deal. Number two, I just asked him, say, Hey, look, you had these buy one, get three free, buy one, get two free. Those were sweet. Those were money. And Sean just said, we're going to do it. So for the buy one, get three free, which line is that? Here's what I've done. The 2400 is a buy one, get three free. So now, is that the middle line one or is that the high end one? Top dog. Poor the high dog. dog. Crazy deal. So, what I did in lieu of this, and some of you have seen this page because I've left it up, there is a Medidenta slash, I think it's medidenta.com slash nifty exclusive deals. But if you just search for Medidenta, you'll see that I've posted this deal over and over and over again. What I've done is I've left that page and some of those deals lit, right? So, they're live. They're not flash sales. They're there until supplies last, until we decide to quit carrying, whatever. That is what we've given to you, Nifty. So you'll always be able to count on when I have a killer deal and Glenn lets us do the free posts on Wednesday, which I don't always hit, but I try to. I always <laughs> promote, hey, I got something new on this page. Go to that page, check it out. So that Google search, and I, I can even post it later. Um, it, I think it's like medidenta.com slash. We'll post it later, Sean, and I'll make another post on that so everyone knows okay. about these deals. I will always add new deals to that page. And if you ask me a question, I'll ping you and say, hey, check out that page. They're lit up. And if things come down, I'll even let you know, hey, it's coming down next week. And this isn't a sales tactic. Trust me. Um, in the end, sometimes we're running out of inventory. Sometimes we're getting low. Sometimes we have another deal where we got to ship it off you know, in bulk. But I will always keep the nifty page lit for Medidenta specifically. I just now started doing one for Wider Image. Um, and I'll get one up for Profi as well. That one takes a little more finagling. But. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Okay, and the final deal here, guys, uh, final deal here is for Profi Magic, there's all these different bulk deals, right? And they're already sweet deals. And we just brought up the fact that, well, you know, not everyone needs the same things that are in these package deals. Well, here's a nifty exclusive, right? If you want to swap things out, just give Sean a call, message Sean and say, hey, look, can you hook me up with, I don't need a bunch of Profi motors. Maybe I need some hand pieces or whatnot, or maybe I need some burrs or whatnot. Mm-hmm. That's the nifty exclusive. Just message him and he's willing to work it out. And I'll put together a, I'll put together a page for you guys. It won't happen overnight, but I'll put it together. In the end, it's the audibles. So when somebody gets off the phone with me, everybody's happy. No one walks away feeling they just got clobbered. And I, I don't allow people to clobber me either, but in the end, you're gonna walk away happy. And that's what we live and breathe on. When I set up a new doc and a new office and I can give him 10 things that he was, he was like, man, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know if I should go to Shine or Benko or Patterson or whomever. And I can at least satisfy some of this stuff and save him a couple thousand bucks. That makes my day. And that's, that's genuine. That's from the heart. That's true. 
I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Well, you know what? You said it best, man. I think we're going to end on that. So, guys, uh, later on, Sean's going to post in the comments section that landing page with those yeah. exclusive deals. But also, look, he's he's a nifty thrifty. You know, he, he posts on Wednesday. We're going to make this post tomorrow. I'm going to tag him in it. Cool. If you have questions, just message him. If I think someone said, what's the phone number? Well, look, we're going to put that link there and, and, and you yeah. can call. But it's just as easy as clicking a couple of things and really checking out online. It's that easy. Talk For to each Sean. Entity, each entity has its own phone number. So we'll publish that. Too. There's not right. one guy will we'll do that. So, so take advantage of that. Sean, thank you so much, man. Like I said, yeah, uh, it's hard. This guy's the busiest guy in dentistry. Like literally when he said, I can get on Facebook Live. I, I hadn't even got out of my scrubs yet. And I was like, dude, we're getting on now when you said yes. So, Sean, anything anything before we jump off here, man? I just want to tell you guys, look, I, I've been a part of Nifty for, I guess, a year plus now. And, you know, when I when Glenn first approached me about this concept, I thought, man, I don't even understand that. How in the world are we going to build an audience? Who in the heck is going to go on here? And who in the heck? I mean, why are people, you know? Everybody can say yes to something, but do they really participate? I got to tell you, I spend more time on Nifty Thrifty than I do my own sites, analyzing what I should be changing. My wife is like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, <laughs> somebody just PM me about wider image dental. I got to respond. And she's like, that's a weird thing. But no, we really have an awesome, an awesome group. Everybody's civil, right? Sometimes comments get a little harsh or whatever, but none of it's ever that bad to where you can't recover from it. And what I like the most, honestly, is you'll bring a vendor on that'll get in front of an issue. You'll get in front of your own issue, whatever the issues are. This is a cool forum where everybody can get on. Look, if everybody wants me to do a two hour <laughs> on hygiene, maintenance, lubing, and hand feet, I'll do it. I don't care. If, well, have, hey, if you want that, make message in the comments. We'll bring them back on how to take care of the hand pieces there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot my video and, and I'll send it over. So, awesome. Glenn, I appreciate everything you're doing, man. I love everybody in this group. Everybody's been very civil. Even when they have a problem, it's never angry. It's never hate. It's all good. Uh, we always work it out. I think most people will say that I'm, I stand behind what I say. I always I try my hardest to respond. It's funny. I was two days late on responding to somebody because I was traveling. And uh, the woman ended up calling Betty Benza and talking to Alfred. And she said, yeah, your rep won't get back to me. And so in that morning, I sent him a note saying, hey, this doc just called. They have a specific question. I want you to handle it because you're better at that stuff than I am. And he, he said it was for endo, like the night type files, where are they made? I'm like, right, well, the, the wire is made in the U.S. And but in the end, he goes, she bought yesterday and she was complaining that you didn't get back to her. And I said, geez, man, that was like two days ago. And it was like a Saturday oh, night. I was traveling, man. I think people are spoiled because I'm I'm like Urkel, man. I'm on that email. <laughs> you ask me a crisis, even if I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out. And I'll fire right back. So anyway, I just want to think about everybody. I'm around. I'm, I'm accessible pretty much 18 hours a day, seven days a week. This is my baby. These are my babies. These are our brands. My goal is to become the biggest, fastest, stronger direct seller on the planet. And you guys have definitely put a dent in my goal. So I appreciate all of you very much. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sean, for everything you do. And guys, he's going to put the links in the comment section and then I'll make a post later. But it looks like, Sean, I'll tell you right now, it looks like somebody's like ready to buy a whole bunch of hand pieces for a start. <laughs> so that's awesome, man. We're going to hook him up. I love but it. Thanks, Sean, I appreciate it. And thanks a lot, guys.